My topic today is related to the bone reconstruction of the atrophic posterior maxilla. The objectives of my presentation are to find the optimal solution for bone augmentation of the upper maxilla and try to compare guided bone regeneration to autogenous bone blocks as well as segmental osteotomy. And as well, we will try to select the optimal solution based on different anatomical and physiological parameters. We all know today that the maxilla resolves upward and inward to become progressively smaller with time, and so implant placement will be dif more difficult in these cases. Le of course, Cowell and Howell, already in 1988, made a classification, and the class one, of course, implant placement is very predictable and easy to perform, while when you are in class five, it's very difficult uh, to place implant and to do an implant rehabilitation procedure. Of course, the studies of the Linde and Arujo group clearly showed, as uh, Dr. Afifi uh, told us in the last previous lecture, that we have a problem with the bundle bone. Once we extract the tooth, we have a problem to preserve the bundle bone in order to secure for a long-term period the aesthetic result as well as the physiological result of after implant placement. Of course, uh, in the maxillary sinus pneumatization have been reported, and we have around 50%, approximately 50% of the population. So as Professor Buzer showed in his presentation, we have to re rebuild and reconstruct this area in order to achieve a long-term success with our dental implants. Of course, the studies of Seong showed in, uh, that in 54% of the cases,